也许不会带我去坐游艇、吃法餐，但是他是世界上最好的男人。Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Brad Gillis, and this is my review of Finding Mr. Right. If you watched my review of American Dreams in China, you might think that Finding Mr. Right would also insult me as an American and irritate me. Almost endlessly, but you would be wrong, and here's why. Finding Mr. Right is funny, well made, much better acted, and a much better and better told story. The Chinese title is Beijing Meets Seattle, and it's apparently inspired by Sleepless in Seattle. I don't know because I've never watched that movie. Don't act surprised. Tang Wei plays Jia Jia, an unmarried Chinese woman who comes to Seattle to give birth. Jia Jia is not a very nice. person. Person. Tang Wei is a very good actress because I wanted to reach into my TV and choke Jia Jia less than five minutes after this movie started. She calls Americans foreigners in America, having entered the United States under false pretenses and having lied to immigration authorities. She's a princess. She's rude, imperious, insensitive, and selfish. She mistreats everyone around her, even the people who help her. Thanks to drinking while pregnant, she even mistreats her unborn child. Wu Xiaobo, a quiet man who meets Jia Jia at the airport,、uh, not by accident. He works for the people who run the illegal birth hotel and transports Jia Jia to her new home. He was a doctor in China, but is now a stay-at-home dad, raising his daughter because his wife's career keeps her traveling. His wife, not his daughter. I'd rather leave out most of the specifics of the plot because you're better off seeing it unfold yourself, and you should see it. Because Finding Mr. Right is a very interesting movie, especially for people who are not its original intended audience. As an American, the story does somehow offend me. I have a feeling that this film, which played in China, couldn't be set in China because the main character is a criminal who never gets punished for breaking the law. She defrauds immigration by concealing her pregnancy and proceeds to overstay her tourist visa. In an illegal business establishment to give birth to and thereby gain citizenship for her illegitimate baby, I couldn't always go along with the film's emotional expectations. We're supposed to feel bad for a pretty lousy woman who gets knocked up by her married boyfriend slash sugar daddy and then gets sent away with a pile of cash on an all expenses paid birth tourism trip. All she got for Christmas was a Hermes bag and a load of cash, but she's a victim. Speaking of Christmas, have you ever heard of Seattle having fireworks on Christmas? Neither have I, but, but never mind. The emotional turning point of this film is bonding over perjury against the police. This woman who spends the first half of the film as a shrewish, unbearable civilian under naval training suddenly becomes okay because she cooks a meal. I never knew it was that easy. Finding Mr. Right is very much a by the numbers rom com. There are no surprises, and you can see every plot point coming a mile away. This movie is so generic that the DVD case should look like this. But the acting makes the movie worth seeing. As a viewer, I really enjoyed and even admired this film because I tried pretty hard to not like it. Tang Wei does a really good job presenting a vile, unlikable character. And then transforming her. I really didn't want to stop hating her, but I did. And I'm me. Wu Xiaobo was very subtle, very believable, and very engaging and entertaining. He may have been a little too reserved, but compared to Jia Jia, anybody would seem dull. Frank's daughter Julia is played at different ages by two sisters. They were both very good in the role. It helps that the little girl had some pretty funny lines, especially when she was translating for Jia Jia. He says you are stupid. You are an idiot. <laughs> And I don't even like kids, unless you cook them right. Veteran actress Elaine Jin plays the woman who runs the birth hotel. Turns in her usual very solid and commendable performance. It was an extra bonus for me to see Teresa Lee in a movie again. She plays a doctor who treats Jia Jia and I assume other birth tourists. At just over two hours, the film does seem a trifle leisurely. It could be tightened up, but it never really dragged for me. I did end up wondering how Jia Jia got back into the United States at the end after she had. Overstayed her visa and left with a baby, but who cares? The success of the film in China means naturally that there's a sequel in the works. I'm actually looking forward to watching it, so miracles do happen. The movie also inspired a run on Seattle real estate by Chinese buyers, even though the vast majority of Finding Mr. Right was shot in Vancouver.
I guess Western cities all look the same after all. I can't believe I enjoyed this movie either, but I really did. And again, it's because the acting in it is so good. Tang Wei was really impressive because I hated her and then I didn't hate her. And that's not easy for me. So if you want to watch this movie, buy a DVD. In the description, there's a link where you could do just that. Don't steal this movie or any other ones. If you enjoyed this review, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, tell me. If you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. That way you'll get to see all the new videos as soon as I release them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.